So it's Good Friday, which means a bit of seafood. So what I've got here is some uh, freshly caught West Australian crayfish, uh, freshly harvested uh, mussels, West Australian mussels, and a good sized big Swan River West Australian blue swimmer crab. That's gonna be tonight's dinner. We'll see how we turn it out. Crayfish tail, in we go. Let's cook that. Get all the meat out of this crab and go with the crayfish and we'll go into tonight's dinner. Lots of meat to go. Come back when it's done. You want plenty of that. That's all bloody good with uh, pasta. This is such a beautiful dish. But yet so Mediterranean and simple. Delish. Just cut them in half. This is Mediterranean food, West Australian food. So easy, so simple, so good. Get these down. Get it cooled off. Stop it cooking. Beautiful. Pretty much time to put it all together now. You can't get much better than this. This is uh, you get your tomato fresh, basil fresh. You've got fresh blue mani crab. Um, yep, fresh uh, mussels and fresh. Rock lobster, crayfish, whatever you want to call it. West Australian produce. And spaghetti. Yum. Doesn't get any better. This is pretty much where a fusion style of cooking comes in. Um, Popeye's girlfriend, you need lots of this. With a spaghetti dish. Put your marties in. 
hit them through. We're not cooking, we're just uh, heating through this stuff because everything's really cooked already. So that's what we like. Yum. So you want lots of salt. And if that looks a lot, there's going to be more going here. And cracked pepper as well. This Mediterranean, West Australian seafood type dish is just spectacular. The silkiness of the uh, Popeye's girlfriend, the olive oil, with the salt and pepper and the seafood, it just goes together. So let's put in the crayfish. Yum. How good is it to live in West Australia, or well, to live in Australia, I suppose, but WA especially, all this seafood, we can just go and catch ourselves every day if we want to. Unbelievable. And, last but not least, the crab, Blue Manor. It does not get any better than this. Guess what? It's Easter. And uh, it's called Good Friday for a reason. Aromatics and taste. Look at that. Fresh basil. How does that not go to seafood or pasta? I don't know. What we're going to do is put this aside and uh, throw the spaghetti in. Okay. Okay, so now into the pan, you guessed it, olive oil, it wasn't just Popeye either, Brutus was pretty keen on the grill, uh, salt, uh, pepper, big pepper, lots of it. Now I like to put it in with the oil, because then it's going to cover the spaghetti when it goes in, and salt, of course. Cooking uh, Asian food like noodles or stuff, but no, this is spaghetti. The great thing about food these days, you can make it look fusion just by using woks and different dishes and different pans. They're all great. I love them a lot. What next? You guessed it. A little bit more. And you know what? I reckon even Wimpy, the burger maker, had a soft spot for her as well. In with the seafood mix. Make sure you mix it through well. Get all those flavours. Oh. Why do they call it Good Friday? Well, apart from the uh, religious reasonings, I guess. That to me would be a good one. And a uh, very Good Friday to you. You can't cook without the chook. That's Good Friday dinner, no meat there, done and dusted.